B and A is connected to C. But A is not connected to E. E is connected to A. The shortest path from one particular source node to all other remaining nodes of the graph and B and A and F. So you are not supposed to visit B and A. So D to C is 2. 9 to B we have one shortest path. So D to B is 8. Hello everyone, I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyash from First Rate College, Mysore. In my previous session, I have discussed about shortest path problems, right? So I have discussed single source shortest path problem called Ditchgrass algorithm. So today I will explain some other important problems on Ditchgrass algorithm. So what is Ditchgrass algorithm? The Ditchgrass algorithm is a very famous algorithm. It is used for solving the single source shortest path problem. It computes the shortest path from one particular source node to all other remaining nodes of the graph. Clear? This is called as Discrass algorithm. So in Discrass algorithm, we are finding the shortest path among the various paths. Clear? And this Discrass algorithm aims to find the shortest path in a directed or indirected graph with non-negativity edge weights. So all the edge weights should be a positive edge weight. Clear? And it should be a directed or undirected graph. So next example for Discrass algorithm. So first example. So here you just observe the graph. So how many vertices are there? A, B, C, D, E. So five vertices are there. How many edges are there? One, two, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 edges are there. So here from example to travel from A to E. So we have to choose the shortest path. And to travel from A to D, we can choose the shortest path. So this is a concept we are applying by using Ditchgrass algorithm. So first I will write the list of the vertex A, B, C, D, E. So to travel from vertex A to vertex A, it is initial value, it should start from 0 itself. Clear? And now from A to A is 0 and the remaining edge weights are infinity, infinity, infinity. Clear? And next, A is connected to B and A is connected to C. You just observe the arrows it is a directed graph so directed graph you just observe the arrows here a is connected to b and a is connected to c but a is not connected to e e is connected to a clear so a to c and a to b so now we have to find the shortest path from a to b we have edge weight 10 so 0 plus 10, this 10, right? And from A to C, we have edge weight called 5. So 0 plus 5, this 5, clear? A to B is 10, A to C is 5. And the remaining edge weights are infinity. And already we have visited this A, we just strike out this A. Clear? So now among these values, which is the least value? So least value is 5. So 5 comes under vertex C. So now I'll take this vertex. So C. So C travels to E, C to E and C to B and but not C to A. Clear? You just observe the arrows here. C to D, B and C to E and C to D. We have three connected paths. So C to B, C to D, C to E. Clear? So first is C to B. So C value is what? C value is 5. 5 is a minimum value. So C value is 5 and to travel from C to B we have 3. 
So 5 plus 3 is 8. Clear? So 5 plus 8 to 8 is 3. So 5 plus 3 is 8. And so already we have visited this C. And C to D. So C to D is 9. So 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. So C to D is 14. 5 plus edge weight is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. So C to D is 14. And again we have C to E. So C to E is 2. So 5 plus 2 is 7. Clear? So 5 plus 2 is 7. So now you just strike out this C also. So C also visited. So among these values, the least value is 7. Clear? So 7 comes under vertex E. So you just observe vertex E. So vertex E travels to D and A also. E to A is there. E to D is there. But E to C is not there. C to E is there. But E to C is not there. E to A, E to D. So A already we have visited. No need to use this A. And you can use E to D. So among this, least value is 7. So the value of E is 7. So E to D means it is 6. Edge weight is 6. So 7 plus 6 is equal to 13. So D value is 13. And E to B is not there. E to C is not there. So as it is, I will write 8. And it is cancelled because E already visited. So now you can cancel this E vertex. So now we have only two remaining vertex A, C, E already finished. So now among these two vertex edge value. So least value is 8. So 8 is a consideration. It comes under the vertex B. So now B to D is there and B to A is not there. B to C is not there. B to only D. So B value is 8. D value is 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9. So 9 is lesser than 13. I can write it is 9 only. So now B also cancelled. And the last remaining vertex is D. So we have 5 vertex right. A, B, C, D, E. So we have visited each and every vertex exactly once. So last consideration is 9. So 9 is the least value. So now you can cancel this D also. So now I will explain about the shortest path. So to travel from A to A, the path is 0. And to travel from A to B, the least path value is 8. To travel from A to C, the least path value is 5. And to travel from A to D is 9. And A to E is 7. So now I will find out the shortest path A to D. Shortest path is A to D is 9. Clear? Shortest path from A to D is 9. So now, what is the shortest distance from A to D? A to D is 9. I will take this as an example. So shortest, shortest distance from A to D, A to D is 9. So now, the shortest distance from A to D is 9. So next I will find out shortest path. Shortest path from A to D. So how to find the shortest path from A to D. So now shortest distance is 9. And for finding the shortest path from A to D, here we have 9. Shortest distance is 9. So now I have to find the next least shortest value. So the next least shortest value is, it is 8. Shortest value from A to D is 9 and next the previous step the shortest distance is 8. So 8 comes under shortest distance B. So D to B here we have 8 and in the previous value we have again 8 there is no changes and in the previous value the least value is 5. So now I will take this as a consideration. So now B to this C. And in previous step, the least value is 0. So here, here we have 9. 9 is the shortest distance. And to travel from A to D, 9 is the shortest distance. Now we have to find the shortest path. 
9 to B, we have one shortest path. So D to B is 8. And again, I will jump to the next point. So next point also, we have 8. There is no changes. And in the next previous point, we have the least point called 5 in C. So A to C, that means B to C is 5. And C to B is not there. C to A, we have the least point. So it is A. Clear? Now, to travel from A to D, shortest distance is 9. So what is the shortest path? D, B, C, A. That is A, C, B and D. Clear? So to travel from A to C, A to C, we have 5 plus C to B. So C to B is 3 plus B to D. So B to D is 1. So 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Clear? This is about your discrease algorithm. So shortest distance from A to D is 9. Shortest path from A to D is A, C, B, D. So we got the same distance value 9. So this is for verification. Clear? So we have to verify whether it is correct or not. So the shortest path is A, C, B and D. To travel from A to D, shortest path is A, C, B, D. It is very simple concept. Please understand the logic. We can use directed graph as well as indirected graph for finding the shortest path and shortest distance in discrease algorithm. Clear? And the next problem is, so here, how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 vertex are there. So first list all the vertex A, B, C, D, E, F. So first step, list all the vertex. So here, the shortest path starts from A. So source node is A. So to travel from A to A, the edge weight starts from 0. 0. And the remaining edge weights are infinity, infinity and infinity. So now the source node is A. To travel from A to B, A to D, A to E, we have to find the value, shortest minimum value. So A to B, it is 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2. Clear? And A to D is 3. So 0 plus 3 is 3. And A to E is 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2. And the remainings are infinity. So in next step, you just observe here, which is the least value? We have two least values. 2 and 2 is the least value. So you can select any one least value. So I will choose this. B is the least value. So first you have to cancel this because already we have visited vertex A. So next vertex has to visit is B. So B value is 2. So least value is 2. So B is connected to C, B to D and B to A because you are not supposed to visit again to vertex A. So B to C and B to D. So here from B to C, B is connected to C, B is connected to D also. From B to C, the least value is from B is 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. And B to D is 4. So B to D is 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6. So 6 is higher than 3. So I will write 3. Clear? I will write the least value and the remaining values are equal. So now you can cancel this vertex B also. And among these values, least value is vertex E. So next I will choose this vertex E. So vertex E is connected to vertex A and vertex F only. So E to F. So E to F is 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. And the remaining values are same. Clear? So now 4, 3, 5. The least value is 3. So 3 comes under vertex D. So D is connected to B and A and C and F. So you are not supposed to visit it again B and A. So D is D to C and D to F. D is the least value. So 3. D value is 3. D is connected to C. 
and B and A and F. So you are not supposed to visit B and A. So D to C is 2. So D to C is 2 means D plus C. That means 3 plus 2 is 5. So 5 is higher than 4. So I'll write 4. And D to F. So D to F value is 4. So 3 plus 4 is 7. So 7 is higher than 5. So I'll write 5 only. Clear? So now among these two values, least value is 4. So 4 comes under. So vertex C, the least value is 4. So vertex C is connected to B, D and F. So already we have visited B and D. So I can visit C to F. So C to F is 2. So 4 plus 2 is 6. So 4 plus 2 is 6. So 6 is higher than 5. So I'll write 5. Clear? So the last consideration is vertex F. So I have visited all the vertex exactly once. So now we have to find the shortest path and shortest distance. So first I will write the values. So source is equal to A, B and E, D, C and F. So A value the shortest is 0 and for B it is 2. And for C and E, E shortest value is 2 and for D it is 3, for C 4 and for e, F it is 5. So now I will find the shortest distance. Example, to travel from A to F, the shortest value is 5. A to F, shortest value is 5. This is the shortest distance. So now find out shortest path to travel from A to F. So first I will consider this shortest value 5 and in the next step it will not change same thing will happen and in the second step also same value is there there is no changes and in the next step there is a minimum value clear. So there is a minimum value it comes under vertex E. So F to E and again this is my consideration again we have the same value called 2 and in the next step we have the least value that is 0. So it's 2 is my consideration compared to 2 0 is the least value so E to A. So this is my shortest path. So now verify this. So shortest distance is 5. If you are verifying this path, you should get the same value from F to E. F to E value is 3. And E to A. E to A the value is 2. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So this is your shortest path and shortest distance. Clear? It is very simple concept. Please use the logic. This logic is very important. If you are missing one value also, you will not get the shortest path. Clear? It is called as shortest path problems and discrass algorithm. So we are using single source shortest problem called discrass algorithm. So I have explained discrass algorithm. There will be a problem on discrass algorithm. It is for 8 marks or 7 marks. So please practice all the problems. In my next session, I will come with a new concept. Thank you.